Hi, I'm Julia, one of the product designers here at KiwiCo. We're always looking to science to help answer interesting questions about the world around us, like this one. Hi, Julia. Do fish sink when they stop swimming? How about sharks? That's a great question. The answer depends on the type of fish and something called buoyancy. Buoyancy is just a fancy term for how well something floats. If you were to jump into a pool and not try to swim, what would happen? Your arms and legs would sink down. And that's because humans aren't very buoyant due to the fact that we're mostly made of materials that sink, like bones and skin and muscle. That's why we need help from a flotation device, like a life jacket or an inner tube to float on the surface of the water. They're more buoyant than we are. Fish like tuna, trout, or the trusty goldfish have bodies that are also made of materials that sink. But lucky for them, fish have a special built-in flotation device called a swim bladder. I made this contraption to show you how it helps keep fish afloat. Here we have a glass bottle, which is like the body of a fish. And there's a balloon inside, which is like a fish's swim bladder. We also have this tube, which allows us to change how much air is in the balloon. Let's put this in the water to see how a swim bladder works. When a fish's swim bladder doesn't have a lot of air in it, the fish is less buoyant, so it sinks. But when a fish's swim bladder inflates, it makes the fish more buoyant, forcing the fish to float up. This inflation and deflation helps them swim up and down in the water. So that's how some fish are buoyant despite their sinkable bodies. But what about sharks, you ask? Sharks are fish, but they don't have swim bladders. They do, however, have very large livers that are filled with oil. I filled this balloon with oil to see how buoyant it is when we drop it in the water. Ready? It floats. Sharks' oily livers make them more buoyant, just like this balloon. But sharks can't change the amount of oil in their livers to make them more or less buoyant like fish can with the air in their swim bladders. So sharks have a few other special abilities to keep them from sinking. This includes having no bones. Unlike other fish, shark skeletons are made of cartilage, which is the same material that we have in our noses and in our ears. Cartilage is lighter and more buoyant than bone. But even with their buoyant bodies and the big oily livers, sharks still sink when they're not moving. Womp womp. In order to keep floating, sharks glide through the water like an airplane glides through the air. To show you how this works, I made a paper airplane with a shark on top. If we just let go of the airplane, it sinks to the ground, just like a shark if it stops swimming. But if I throw the airplane forward, the air flowing past the wings lifts it up. The same thing happens when a shark swims forward. The water flowing past the fins lifts up the shark. So back to our original question. Do fish sink when they stop swimming? Well, fish with bones don't sink when they stop swimming because they have swim bladders to help keep them afloat but sharks do sink when they stop swimming because even with their boneless bodies and oily livers, they still need forward motion to achieve liftoff. Thanks for experimenting with me. If you have a science question you want answered, we are here to help. Ask a grown-up to send us a message on Instagram at KiwiCo underscore And for more awesome STEAM projects, go to KiwiCo.com.